previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You haven't changed a bit. The time has come, Brian. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. It's like all my worst enemies come back to haunt me. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro, perhaps a dozen of them. Yes, there's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. the bullshit, Morgan. You're playing with fire again. But this time, you will get burned. Loose ends can only exacerbate the situation. Think twice, Director. Or you may regret it. Ah, boy. You never disappoint, Morgan. But once we have the truth, your mistakes will never be repeated. the last time I ever go scuba diving so. without a tank. Oh. Anyway, now that I don't have a mouthful of water, what's up guys? Channel 84 is back in the air, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. We are beginning episode 8, all on the line. And now that I know I'm not going to drown, how you been? Long. Hopefully better than I am. <clears throat> anyway, in the last episode, Morgan Lansdale tried to destroy us with the Regia Solace, but we stopped the satellite, and we saved our skins. Before we head on, we're going to check out the box and see if we can do anything to our box weapons that are still not in our hands. I think for now I will give fire rate to the python, and days 2 to it as well. But for now, I don't think I'm going to be using it. So let's find a way out of here. Before we go, though, we've got weapons to pick up. And items as well. Case in point, custom parts. Wait, did I say weapons? No, that wasn't right. Rifle ammo, very nice. Pulse chance just in case. Sweet, two items. Let's see what we got. Very nice. Extra nice. Alright. Now, to get out of this flooded containment unit, we're gonna need to drop down this ladder right here. Dive on down, and follow the path. By the way, if I sound like a blue idiot without water on my mouth, I just want to let you know I'm, I really like to entertain my fans, so when it comes to doing something out of the ordinary and potentially life-threatening in my case, if it's for the entertainment, I'll gladly try it out. All right. Take a breather right here real quick. And we'll just keep on going. This is Chris, Vermillion, Parker, Jill. Listen what carefully. What you got? The ship is done for. But we can't allow the virus to contaminate the oceans. Virus? What virus? Jessica and I are heading for the Queen Zenobia. Just hang nice. on. We'll contact 
contact you soon. Don't die in there. Chris out. Don't worry, Chris. We're not gonna die. Don't even perish the thought. Okay, another breather. And on our way. Gonna grab a box of custom parts we couldn't grab before. Reaches. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's put things away before it touches us. Come on, head to the surface, head to the surface, head to the surface! Keep in mind, if you're at the surface, a sea creeper will not be able to grab you and drag you down. That is the beauty of the matter. And in here, I think there are a couple items we can also get. Ah, shotgun shells. Parker, quit digging around. Kill that thing and get back to me. Alright, now we've got our items. Let's be on our way. Ah, sweet, you killed it. Very good. Alright, now to get out of the flooded area, we have to bypass through the engine room. We'll take the same path out as we did before. Up and out. Let's check with the gents to see if there's anything new here. Nope, still empty. Yep. Oh, Jesus, look at the whole build spill after that tidal wave. But then again, it was to be expected. After all, what do you think would happen if a sailboat got hit with a tidal wave? Good. It's been away. Miss me. Alright, we're getting ammo like crazy here. Good thing, too, because we can use every last bullet we can get our hands on. <clears throat> Better stop in here and get some air. Parker? Good. Alright. We're almost at the elevator. And by the looks of things, we're probably going to have to swim our way out. But then again, what if you know me to shy from a challenge, huh? Oh, shit! Let go of me! If one catches you and you shake it loose, you'll immediately stab it and kill it. Making sea creeps very, very vulnerable when you battle them underwater. When at waist level though, you gotta shoot them out. Oh, not again! Grab this real quick. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Almost there! We are safe. Thank goodness. Oh, good, it hurt. Take that. This is Chris. Are you two all right? Chris! Yes, we're fine. But the ship is sinking fast. No doubt about it. That tidal wave was doing some real damage. Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Come on, stop talking. Okay, see you soon. Chris out. All right, we're just about there, so the level should be just about finished. Not that I'm really in any... Hurry to finish. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm already maxed on handgun bullets. <gasps> Holy shit, how much water did get into this ship? This is completely bonkers. Alright. Just about at the casino, so we're almost at the rendezvous point. Come on, Parker. Slowing us down. Oh, good. Rifle balls. Alright, here we go. Hear that? There. Veltro! You almost missed the party. Unbelievable. That tidal wave has caused the ship to start to sink. <sighs> it almost killed us in the process. And me as well. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll continue episode 8 in the next part. Until then, this is Jeremy saying, peace out!